Because of inconsistencies in the book, Eamon Holmes questions Harry, why can't he remember things right? Royal experts and admirers have pointed up several inconsistencies in the Duke of Sussex's memoir, Spare. After it was discovered that Harry misspelled the name of the tavern behind where he is said to have lost his virginity, GB News broadcaster Eamon Holmes was astounded to see that the Duke of Sussex continues to make contradictory statements in his book. Over the weekend, Sasha Walpole came forward, admitting she was the lady who had an illicit encounter with the Duke of Sussex 22 years prior. The royal story Du Jour, as Ms. Webster referred to it to her co-host Eamon, was examined by royal specialist Kinsey Schofield and co-host Isabel Webster. But instead of laughing at the joke, he questioned Harry's mental faculties. However, he questioned, why can't he remember anything right? Because of the numerous falsehoods, journalist Andrew Pierce chimed in, because he makes it up. Added him. It is written by a ghostwriter for him. When pressed about it, he responded, it doesn't matter. The Duke of Sussex recently published his autobiography, Spare, in which he revealed the most intimate details of his life, including how he lost his virginity. He claims that the inglorious episode occurred with an older woman when he was about 17 years old. He stated, she had a strong affinity for horses and treated me like a young stallion. Short ride, which was followed by her smacking my rump and sending me off to graze. One of the many aspects about it that was incorrect was the fact that it took place in a grassy field behind a bustling bar. The concerned woman, now a mother of two, revealed to the son over the weekend that she had been employed as a groom at Highgrove House, the home of the then Prince Charles, before to the incident in July. She asserts that Harry initiated contact, claiming that it was actually a wham-bam between two pals. Since the publication of the explosive book Spare, royal fans and experts have discovered a number of errors, the misnaming of the bar being the most recent. Although Spare makes a number of shocking claims and disclosures regarding the royal family, several experts and fans have pointed out a few mistakes. The Duke claimed to be at Eton College, the famous boys' school that both he and William attended, in his novel Spare. Fans have noted that Prince Harry and his family were vacationing in Closters, Switzerland for a skiing trip when the Queen Mother passed away. Photos from the time show that on March 29, 2002, the young princes and the Prince of Wales, as they were then known, participated in a media call. Additionally, he described in his book how he would frequent TK Maxx during its once-a-year sale. Harry stated, I'd go to TK Maxx, the budget retailer, for my regular casual clothing, and he went on to say, I was particularly fond of their once-a-year sale, when they'd be flush with goods from Gap or J. Crew, pieces that had just gone out of season nor were somewhat damaged. The Duke claims that his mother Diana gave him an box for his 13th birthday in 1997, according to a different passage from the book. However, as some social media users pointed out, the Zbox was only released in 2001 and wasn't sold in Europe until the following year. This was quickly brought up by Royals fans. The bombshell autobiography, which was just written by J.R. Moringer, sold more than 1.4 million copies on its first day, according to Penguin Random House, 12 January. Australian Republicans are using Prince Harry's attacks on the royal family as a political talking point. A monarchist said that Republican activists in Australia are utilizing shocking statements made by Prince Harry to further their cause. An Australian monarchist claimed that Republican campaigners are taking advantage of allegations made by Prince Harry in his memoir. The royal family is being attacked, according to Philip Benwell, national chair of the Australian Monarchist League, following the release of the contentious book Spare by the Duke of Sussex.